Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and the wait is over. The Latte Panda accessories are now available, namely the Titan case, also the streaming cable and the seven inch EDP LCD screen. So let's check it out. All right, so I've been waiting for this case since the launch of the Latte Panda Alpha because this case is gorgeous. I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's got the nice curves, it's got all the breathing holes it needs, and it's small enough to actually still fit in your pocket. Now, in this case, you don't lose anything here. By removing the top panels, you actually have full access to your GPIO pins. Now, the case comes in two pieces, technically four. Uh, the bottom, the top, and then the two little panels that covers the GPIOs. Installing it was really easy. You just have to install it from top to bottom, meaning the Latte Panda will have to be inserted to the top panel, then screwed onto the bottom. Now, one of the things that I did have a problem with was using an adapter for my Wi-Fi card, which I need for my Hackintosh install. It won't fit, it's, it's just the gap was a little bit too big. Otherwise, it fits really nice in here and it still has breathing holes for everything. So if you're worried about the bottom not being able to breathe for your NVMe or your M.2, uh, yeah, it's got holes down there. It's also got these little two square cutouts for your Wi-Fi antennas. So that was pretty nice. On one side of this guy, you actually still have the LED indicator light, the touch ribbon that you could install, the EDP for the LCD screen, and also the micro SD card. And then in the front and also the back, you don't lose any ports whatsoever. Now on one side of it, uh, you also have the power button that directly presses the button inside the card. Overall, I really like the design of this case and it's actually built really well and makes this feel like a pocket sized computer. Like literally this could go in your pocket and you know you won't damage anything on it. Next up, we have the streaming cable. Now that, this guy was, I, I read about it and I was, how are they gonna do this? And then now I know what they are doing with this cable. Uh, uh, let me explain. So they have this USB cable. It's about, I think maybe two feet long. And one end is the big part and the other end is the little part. And what they did with this cable is actually turn this into a local network using RNDIS, which allows you to basically hook your Latte Pen up directly to a computer using this USB cable and it'll sense it like a network. So you could use protocols like remote desktop or no machine or something like that to control this guy at full five gigabit bandwidth, which is really fast, especially if you're gonna use remote desktop. And I haven't tested it out yet, but the remote FX, if you guys ever are familiar with it, remote FX allows you to actually like push your graphic card through the network interface. Uh, something I do want to try in the future, but everything does work really well. All right, so now I have my remote desktop hooked up to the Latte Panda through the cable. Uh, you have to run this DHCP server, which you could actually download from this site. And as you can see, it's actually really smooth and using it. Well, it is transferring at five gigabytes, so uh, gigabits, I believe. Uh, if I go over to the device manager over to my Latte Panda, you're gonna notice also the network that adapter is the remote NDIS compatible device. Well, they told me that when I set this up, I had to use like 1.1.1. So let me pull up a command. Now this is from my actual windows. So if I go ping 1.1.1, this is how you can test the connection and you can see it's actually hitting back. So yeah, I mean, it's it's working and I believe it could work on multiple devices, not just the Latte Panda. This this cable essentially creates a little remote and DIS compatible device on both, on your windows, on my windows actually. So if I go over to my windows as well, this is the device manager for mine. If you go over to network, you're gonna see a remote NDIS compatible device. Uh, you don't have to stick with remote desktop. So if you're using Mac OS or Linux, you could actually use no machine or I don't know, VNC. All right, next we have this guy, which is the LCD screen. Uh, it's a seven inch display with a resolution of 1024 by 600, a widescreen resolution, but it's not that big. It's not like a 1080 screen. It's It's bright and it's also EDP, which means you could adjust the brightness of your device. That's really big compared to what they used to have. My only thing about this is that the ribbon cables that it ships with are very short. So you can't actually pull this away from your Latte Panda too much. It's, it's not the ribbon cable for the display mainly, but it's the touchscreen ribbon cable that is too short. It's about like two, maybe three inches. So yeah, that's the only thing. Touchscreen works right out of the box for Windows and Linux. Uh, Mac, I had a problem with. I couldn't get the touchscreen to work yet. I don't know if it's something that I have to install as far as the drivers, but it looks really nice in Mac as well. So 
All the products that I am talking about are in the links in the description below. If you guys want me to test something out, mainly I'm gonna be testing this cable. And this cable actually works for multiple computers. It doesn't have to be just for Latte Panda. This works for Raspberry Pi to your desktop or um, any other computer to your desktop. It, it just, it's a network cable, but it's a USB. Now, when I was installing this, I am gonna give you a little hint. This part goes to your desktop, which means it's the client. And this part is, the, the smaller part is the server. So. I had that mixed up when I was installing it, so I had a little bit of trouble. But otherwise, once you know that uh, this is the client, then you know how to set it up. Basically on the Latte Panda, that's where you want to install the DHCP server. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it up in the comments below. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.